chat apps, characterized by cute little bubbles and, more often than not, these little ticks. The question is, of course, what do these ticks really mean and what do they not mean? It's often we get angry at someone not reading our messages and we know these ticks mean something along those lines. But as it turns out, the meaning is not quite as clear as we would like it to be. Often, these ticks come in a variety of forms and they indicate each different step of the delivery process. Of course, different apps draw them differently. For example, the top row here would be more similar to what WhatsApp and Telegram actually does, while the lower one is modeled on Facebook. While at face value, fairly simple to understand, it turns out that in the background, quite a lot is going on. Let's take a look at what these symbols actually represent. And to do that, we first need to understand one critical thing. When you're communicating with another person on a chat app, you are not actually making a direct connection between your phone and that. Instead, you are connecting through a web server. This server is usually set up by the provider of the service you've installed. For example, WhatsApp has its own servers. Facebook Messenger has its own servers. And in fact, your messages are going through their server before reaching your recipient's device. What this means is, to truly understand what those ticks actually mean, we need to understand the lifetime of a message traveling from your device to the recipient's. Let's take a look. First, you certainly have to compose a message on your own device. The moment you've done that, you would see this symbol, which indicates that your message is pending delivery. At this point, your device attempts to send your message to the server. This could fail for one of many reasons. For example, if your device does not have internet access, or in a rare case where the service's server is actually down. Then, you will be stuck in this stage. Usually when you see this, it implies that something has gone wrong somewhere. Usually, it's something you can correct by either restarting your internet connection or going somewhere else with better reception. At any rate, when you see this symbol, there probably is something you can do about it. Of course, assuming that everything has gone well, the server receives your message and sends you back an acknowledgement, telling you that, hey, I have indeed gotten that message. This is when your symbol changes to a single tick. This of course implies that your message has been sent. What the server then attempts to do is to send a message to your recipient's phone. Now, this is the part that most commonly fails. The recipient is either offline or their device is unable to actually respond to the message. Maybe their device is just, you know, so far in a sleep mode that the program doesn't actually check. Whatever the case, you are now stuck with a single tick. This is probably the most frustrating of the four states because this is something you have no control over. Of course, in this stage, the recipient's device does not receive anything at all, there is no notification, and they have no idea that you tried to contact them. Unfortunately, you're just gonna have to wait it out, or try a different means of contacting them. Of course, assuming that everything goes well, a notification will appear on your recipient's device, and when that happens, the recipient's device will send a message back to the server, saying that, yes, I have indeed received the message. Do note that this is not enough to change that tick on your device. There is no way your device knows until the server sends that along to your device, and that is when your one tick turns into two. Of course, if your device was offline during this step, there is no way you would know. You wouldn't be able to receive that message from the server telling you that, well, the message was actually successfully delivered. Eventually, your recipient is going to open their app, and in doing so, the app sends off another message a so-called read receipt. Again, you are not aware of this until the server eventually relays that to you. Then your status changes into your colored tick. So as you can see, this process is non-trivial, even though communications between two devices seem very straightforward. Now, to quickly summarize this, here's the deal. When you first see your clock, 
That means you're not certain of anything. You're not even sure if your message has reached the server yet. Until you see a single tick, then you know for sure. Of course, at this point, you are not certain that message has reached the recipient's device just yet, until you see two ticks. Of course, eventually, they're going to open the app, and that's when the color of the ticks change. As you know, of course, there is that trick in which you can just look at your notification, or if you have a smartwatch, the notification gets mirrored there. So, in those cases, your recipient can certainly read the messages without triggering the blue ticks. That's why these indicators are just that, they're just basic indicators, and they cannot tell you for sure whether a user has actually read your messages. And more importantly, they cannot tell you for sure that you are being ignored. So, basically, chill out. Now, we're nearly done, but you may be wondering why we do not simply make a direct connection between two devices through the internet. Why do we really need a server? But as it turns out, it is pretty important to have one. Let's take a look at an example of this in action. Let's say you wanted to send a message to another device that is currently offline. Well, you couldn't because they're offline and you couldn't reach them. You could type your message in, but it's just going to end up in a waiting state. Eventually, say you go offline before they come online. Even when they do come online later on, well, they wouldn't know that you have a message that is waiting for them. It couldn't ask you because your device is offline and there is no other server to check it against. And as a result, well, there really isn't anything either party can do to get the message across. The only way for this to work is for both devices to eventually come online. Your device sees that their device is online and that is when the message can actually be sent. Certain services such as Skype do this, and in fact, that is why you may sometimes have problems with offline messages in Skype. Both parties need to be online before the message can be sent properly. At the same time, you don't experience such troubles with, say, Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, because, well, they have a server in between. And that's it. That is what your ticks actually represent. And while it appears quite simple at first glance, as it turns out, quite a lot is going on in the background to allow these statuses to happen. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.